Hey guys, welcome back to Aptcode. In the last tutorial of the Spring Boot GraphQL series, we show you how to use GraphQL aliases, right? So I have integrated it to DB to the application and show you how to uh, do that in the Spring. So I have done some updates or enhancement for the application uh, we developed earlier, right? So I have pushed all the updates to the github repository and you can find the link in the description to the github repository of this tutorial backend application right so i'm going to show you what are the changes i've done to the application right so uh, earlier we had we didn't use a join table for the auth and book relationship right so uh, now i have added a join table to the uh, auth and book repositories or uh, entities right to do that i have added at many to many annotation uh, in the many to many annotation uh, cascade options persist and merge right and fetch type should be eager otherwise we cannot uh, pull all the authors when we search for book right so uh, that is kind of uh, have a performance impact and we'll sort it out in later video right so now we can use eager to create a join table we need to use add join table annotation and we can give it a name uh, i have given it book underscore author right so join columns means what are the fields that preferring in this entity right so isbn from this book and we are looking at author id in the other side of the relationship right so that is specified by inversely join columns right and we have uh, this update to the authors right also i have added add author method you can easily put a author to the book in the author side i have changed the id into string to long and added add generated value so this will be auto increment value uh, so we have we don't have to give a id when creating an author right and i updated at many to many annotation with cascade type persist and merge and i have added map by authors which is the field of the many to many relationship in the other side of the relationship right so according to that id type update i have changed these methods right so in the app schema graph ql i changed this id from string to long and add author string to long string to int right because we don't have long type in the graph ql but int right and in the application yaml i have done several changes i change the url mem to file now we have a temporary file of the db so we don't have to insert every time the data because we are going to show you how to use fragments and cool stuff in the graphql side so we can't add data in each step right so i have updated this to in memory database into a file temporary database right and i have added show sql true and ddl auto update uh, this means when we have changed the schema or the data next in the next run it will crash because we don't have added if we don't have added this one right now it just update alter the tables and uh, do the stuff for us right so we can have the ddl auto update and we can have choice here to true when we are debugging the application right next thing i have added is a to console which is a ui i'll show you that one this is the ui we can use that ui to see the database right uh, we can enable it by having this configuration spring h2 console enable true and path should be started with forward and you can have whatever i i have it to right 
so i'll show you how to log in to this one uh, we need to go to localhost and we need to pass the jdbc url here and we can connect likewise right next thing i have done is i uh, implement this application runner interface and have this run application and there i have created two books and three authors and updated this these guys right uh, in the author mutation resolver uh, nothing much but i have removed the iuu id thing because we have auto increment id now in the book mutation resolver i change the list type to set so this set now we have not the list but set so according to to fix that uh, i have updated the mutation results right so that's the all the changes i have done to the application um, if i show you this is the aliases we talk about in the last tutorial so we have two books we can get those two books in same time by having aliases to books one and books two right now i'm going to show you how to use fragments in according to reduce this boilerplate right we have a title isbn author's name repeated in second one right we can omit that by using fragments so let's see how to do that also guys i needed to show you an awesome application i have found in the internet because uh, i'm doing the recordings uh, when i'm recording there's a very background noises coming up you can hear those in the earlier videos but i have found this application and installed this one this is very easy to use and they they claim that they use ai to the noise cancellation things right so once you install the application you can have it like this and you can mute noise and use it in the recorder or the skype zoom or whatever the application right so uh, i i am using this right now to record this video i'll put a, a, a referral link in description you can uh, install that one from my referral link so that will give me uh, one month or two months i guess uh, time to uh, evaluate the application right so that would be very helpful for me to do the videos so you can go to the link and install the application so that's a additional info um, and you can use this application in the video conference calls right so it would uh, greatly enhances your uh, conferencing experience right okay guys back to the graphql thing right so in this one i'm going to show you how to use fragments right so fragments look like this right we have fragment keyword then the name of the fragment and on keyword and the type name and we can have several fields right so next we can have this kind of thing where we use a variable inside the fragment right so this is the basic idea of a fragment so where we can use this we can use fragment to easily reduce the boiler uh, the repetitions right so we have these blocks are repeat in this alias right so we can use a fragment to skip that repetition right so we can have fragment of book on type book right and inside of it we can have these things right so it's and here we can have 
three dots and book and here we can have also three dots and book now all are same if i hit the button we get the same output as in the aliases right so this is how to use a fragment right without variables okay guys in the next video we'll show you how to use variables in the fragments or else uh, graphql how to handle graphql errors or we could do pagination or something else right so you can suggest me what to do in the next episode and you can use the comment section to indicate uh, what you would like to have in the this graphql spring board series right so thanks for watching guys please subscribe to the channel if you like the video and uh, want to see upcoming videos right so again thanks for watching happy coding guys bye bye